All right, so today we're cooking with cornbread. We're gonna create some smash burgers. Smash burgers cooked on Blackstone griddle. For time purposes, I've already cut up our onion. I'm gonna saute on there. Got some mushrooms underneath there that uh, I've already rinsed off and got those dudes ready. Take our 80-20 hamburger meat ground chuck here and some Allegro black pepper marinade. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in there just to add a little bit of flavor. Then we got some dogs and brats I'll throw on there with some rub that I'll sprinkle on after we get them in. cooked up and everything, but uh, we'll come back to this in a minute. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of this marinade in here just to wet it down a little bit so it'll help it give it some flavor and it won't dry out on that griddle. Mix it up really good mash it around you want it spread out you don't want concentrated in one area we have all flavor in some patties and not in others so we'll mash this all up making smash burgers which means you create a little bitty ball of hamburger meat you smash it down just like it sounds we're gonna go out there and smash these dudes down they cook for just a little bit of time and you flip them. Add a little spice after you flip them, they're ready to go. All right, so first, I'm gonna dump our veggies over here in this corner. Let those dudes start sauteing. Got the butter softening up over here a little bit. Put just a hair more in there. Let this cook for just a little bit more. That'll be good enough for right now. We'll check on it in a minute. Had to get the veggies started. First, it'll take them a little longer to saute than it will for our burgers to cook. Smash burgers cook fairly fast. So, we'll spread this stuff out. It's gonna be veggie corner over here. It's gonna be awesome on some burgers and some broth here in a minute. That butter all over those things. as I thought it would. Sometimes a little more is what's best. You know it, baby girl. Today working the camera with me, I got my beautiful daughter, Eddie B. I'm gonna turn her into a, a shelf just yet. All right, so we'll pause it right here for a sec. I'm gonna start making me some little balls of meat so we can have some smash burgers here in a minute. Let me start turning this down. I got it hot enough. All right, so for my non-burger eating folks in my house, throwing some hot dogs on there for certain little girls who don't like burgers. Well, just one little girl. Better cheddar Johnsonville brats. That ain't cool. 
roll those dudes around. Turn this side down too, Mercy. They're cooking fast. They are. A little too fast. Yeah. Right. Got one hot dog though in the back. All right. Somebody likes a black hot dog, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. You'll probably eat Toss it. Toss this one more time before the dudes are coming on. Just fine. Starting to smell good over here, like a hot dog stand. Mercy. What I'm talking about, baby. Making me hungry. It's the whole point of cooking, right? So you can eat. All right, let's go. <laughs> All of this has been building up to this. So this is the hamburgers that we put the marinade on a while ago. And the great thing about a griddle is you don't have to worry about if you got enough room because you got enough room. There's always enough There's room. There's always room on this dude. <laughs> so we're thinking to have some fun. So you just take this dude right there. Smash it. Baby, turn loose. There we go. <laughs> Getting a little stuck. A little bit. That's fine. Guess I should have greased this before I started this, huh? Maybe. Live and learn, baby. All right. It's fine if a few are different. Those don't like turning loose a bit. <laughs> you might need to degrease it. You might have to. Technical difficulties. Grease now, baby. Some of them might be different than the others. There we go. It's turning loose now. <laughs> All I did, I cheated, rub a little butter on there. <laughs> butter and burgers, good combination anyway. Should have already had that going. Oh, that's some fire looking burgers, son. Mercy. Some big ones. Ooh. Looking good. What you talking about? <laughs> Looks like some restaurant quality burgers. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this right here on there. Everyday rub. Yes, sir. Now notice I didn't do it on those yet. I don't want them sticking. No more than they already are. <laughs> Find that funny chuckle. <laughs> you only have to let these dudes cook about 90 seconds on each side and they're done. The love on that one, that one. I say we'll do some more. 
And I've had people put in the comments on my Facebook if I was feeding the army, if I had a Cisco truck. I do not have an army to feed. I probably eat for an army, but I don't have one to feed. <laughs> we all know that's the truth. Man alive, these suckers are smelling right. Ooh. Man, they're making me mouth just watering. I'm starting to think I'm actually in a restaurant and not in our backyard. Because that's what it smells like. I think these other burgers are done. Yep. About to take them all. Uh oh, the cheese starting to come out of the broth. Say it ain't so. Let's roll. And those hot dogs are Dude. busting open. Dude, that's perfect. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Perfect, perfect. That hot dog in the back, though, it <laughs> cut open. That's probably going to the dog. <laughs> you think he'll eat it? Yeah. Or we could give it to Georgia. Chef not going anywhere. Ooh. Money, son. You should probably Money. put the other birds. Huh? What? Dude, if y'all ain't hungry after watching this, please unsubscribe. <laughs> Alright. I know it's making me hungry. Uh oh, it's starting to sprinkle. Alright. You see, I'm under an umbrella. Always prepared, baby. Not all the griddles under the umbrella, though. <laughs> the hot dogs aren't. That'll be all right. Ah! Falling on my head. All right, so, got these turned off. They're pushed over to the side. Dogs are done. They're turned off. All we're focusing on right now, cheesing it up. Some Kobe Jack slices here. We'll slap on these dudes. Yeah, we're going to let them overlap. We don't care. Nobody fighting for cheese around here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then, we get done with that. Put the basting tray over the top of it. Woo! Woo! A little much. Move this one out. You the cheese is already banish. melting. That right there is going to have that cheese melt a lot faster. While that's doing that, I'm going to take these off. Because they're done. Yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah. Didn't waste any. Set them over here. Whoa, I say that and we lost two. <laughs> say what, Ooh. what? All right, almost perfect. So... Cheese all over. Cheese all over. That's the way I like it. All right. Well, we fell on the umbrella stand. That's why we have dog. <laughs> He's batting clean up always. All right. So we'll do a few of these. Mm. 
We have a child that does not like cheeseburgers, but regular burgers, so we'll hook her up with those. You can tell the baby ones that I had to uh, pat out with what little bit of cheese I had left. Well, not cheese, but one more. We're gonna make them all kind of cheese. Oh yeah. That's how it's going, son. <laughs> Look at how good that looks. He's already back and clean up. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's taking the cheese. <laughs> That's my dog right there, baby. All right. <laughs> Let's get these dudes up. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Y'all don't want none of that because, I mean, the cheese is just stringy, right? Almost. String cheese is good, though. Oh, my. Ooh. Look at that. I am not responsible for clothes shrinking. So, if you cook... Like I'm cooking and your clothes shrink, that ain't my fault. Don't blame me. Blame your clothes. Oh, that's a little good. What do you think? Mm, yeah. What we got under here? Oh, it's still melting. That, you can see that one piece of cheese on the top. Yeah, it kind of hit that hard, didn't it? Yeah. It's okay, though. All right. It's the cheesy burger. Stack them in there. Push that junk toward the back. It's done now. That's what I love about the griddle. You ain't cooking in the house. You ain't heating the house up in the summertime. You ain't smoking the house up. Or sure not. And the great thing is, mine's right here by the pool. So I can jump in and out. Good enough. Extra cheesy burger. Oh yeah. Sorry if my cheesiness offends you. <laughs> Dad jokes. Always. Oh my. Them suckers are gonna be so good at sliders, what? Oh boy. Man. There's so much cheese. No one can have a problem with there being too much cheese. No one. Except maybe calories. Lactose intolerant people, I mean, that's the only ones I can think of. <laughs> All right, so. Take the dogs off the grill. That's it. Thank y'all for watching. If you're not already following my YouTube channel, it's Cooking with Cornbread. Go there, hit the subscribe button. You'll get my, all my cooking videos in which tomorrow I'm gonna be smoking some more ribs. Three slabs this time. We'll get into all that tomorrow. Thank you guys.